We got some new cars in Gran Turismo! And with that, welcome back to another video on It's About Cars. Yeah, you're probably hearing it, my voice is kind of different. Because I'm sick. I am having a cold, but anyways. Add-on content information, 1.13 is we got some new cars. And they're pretty cool, actually. We got some Alpine. Uh, we got the Audi R8, we got the Di Tommaso, Di Tommaso, however you want to call that, Pantera, which I saw in real life in a museum once and it's an awesome car. We got the George Challenger RT and the Ford Mustang Mach, Mach, make, Mach, Mach 1. Jesus, spelling isn't easy. Um, which is cool because we have some more classic muscle cars finally added to the game. And the Gran Turismo F. 1500 TA, that's probably the car on the left hand side in the picture. Some uh, Lamborghini Aventador, which is the car that this video is going to be about because I want to see this thing slide a little. And uh, we got the Su Subaru WRX STI, Isle of Man, and the Subaru Falcon Tire Turn 14 Distribution BRZ. <sighs> such difficult names and the Toyota Supra 3.0 and the Toyota MR2 which is really awesome because I like the MR2 a lot it's it's personally for me it's like the little Supra because the Celica isn't really a Supra in my or isn't really the little brother to the, or the little sister obviously to the to the Supra because it's not really it's not rear wheel drive you can all well you can have four wheel drive but to, to me the DMR2 is, is, is more special because of mid engine and two seaters and target roof that's really cool and we got some new tracks we got the Blue Moon Bay Speedway infields uh, which is a new track and probably this is where we're going to test the Aventador on if you're new to the channel don't worry I don't always sound like an alcoholic Okay, we got the new Alpines. I'm just going to check for the price because I really like the new Alpine. It's it's a cool car. It's, it's, it has a nice design. You can see the difference between the old and the new one. I like the new one. I mean, it doesn't have the special thing about it. Like, the old Alpine was the more, more or less lightest car, sports car with just 138 horsepower. But that was so much. I don't even know if that was faster than a Lotus Elise. So... We do our Huracan, and according to Need for Speed, that is the best drift car. Or that's supposed to be the best drift car in Need for Speed. So we should actually check if this Huracan can slide, but we're going for the Aventador, because that's new. Of course. And we just have 500,000 bucks, so we can barely afford it. I don't know, you, you're probably not even able to keep the, the color, which is a shame, because I'd like to. But I'm probably going to paint this black and throw a single sticker on him. I have the perfect sticker for this car, believe me. But before I want to change the livery, I just want to check to Di Tommaso. Di Tommaso. What? How do you spell that car? Look at that. It's awesome. So let's check for a mileage exchange if we have any cool new rims. Those are cool, for example. And those are cool, for example. Let's just purchase them. I'm not using the mileage points in any other way, so you shouldn't save these points. Oh, they're cool too. Let's go for it. Fits to drift cars. So, you got anything else? Some cool paint jobs. No, the colors don't really... They don't make my pants wet. So, let's go for the delivery editor. I just want to throw a single sticker on it because I really... I found a cool sticker uh, browsing through the gallery. Uh, but we should probably paint this black first. Do you have a special black color? Oh no, we should go for the brown. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff that you can actually change. Now that's all brown, but I want to go for black. Because that, that, that adds some nice detailing right there. <laughs> How about we going for special colors? Oh my god, that looks... Ugh. Uh, no! Oh, the blue fits. Oh, that's quite nice. I mean, I would never throw that on in real life. Never ever. But 
these details really do make the car look cool. I think I would go for 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 a special color, for example, for the blue, if the back would wouldn't be that much blue. So now let's throw this sticker on it. You're probably not knowing what I mean. Let's go for collection, and there we have it, a Batman sticker. Well, it's a very nice Batman sticker. It really fits the car, doesn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at this Batman. It's perfect, right? Got some Batman on a car. We're ready to go. So you can download this rap simply by searching for Bat Dung. I don't think we should level it up. I think it's more than enough. We need Drift. So we had Sports Heart in front and Comfort Heart in the back with the skyline. We should just. Why don't we just do the same right here? Let's leave the stuff. But we need to change this. Okay. Ooh, look at this crispy! Oh no! No! That was totally what I wanted to do. Oh, that was too early. That probably isn't the, the best setting. It it somehow slides and never stops. Okay, we should we should do something about it. That's not how it's going to stay. Let's try comfort hearts. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, you can't steer. You can't steer. No, I think that was the wrong decision. Could you please move? It's not too easy to find the perfect build, but we should go for sports hard and uh, why don't we just raise the natural frequency? And we had a camera angle from we had a camera angle that was around 1.0. No, it doesn't work. Why the hell? <sighs> Okay, let's just stick to what we had with the skyline and do it again. And this is the last try. Oh yeah, this feels a lot better. A lot better. Oh yeah. That was actually a proper drift right there. That you should avoid speed. That's the main reason for you to either spin out or just simply slide off the track. You should really go slow, you should really try to to force you to go slow, otherwise it doesn't work. So anyways, I think we got our, we got our setup and we should go for a race and try to drift around these players. Let's go for intermediate, so we have a slight better chance. I would go for professional, but drifting around a Venino, for example, isn't the best choice. You shouldn't do that. This isn't going to work. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm not even able to break. Oh, I managed to overtake the Mustang. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Corvette. Ooh, look at this drifting. Don't hit the car. No. You really have to concentrate on that. This is so bad. This is such a bad thing. Sorry, Evo. Sorry for punching your car. Ugh.
but it actually works. It it works. Look at that. I'm able to drift around my opponents. I'm even I'm even able to go in first place. Maybe. I'm getting so many likes on my activity right now. I think the people like my dung livery. Ah, uh, I'll be careful. Don't hit someone. Ah, oh, I did it again. <gasps> Why are you breaking so early? There we go, Minino. I'm gonna get you. Ugh, and I'm hitting you again because I don't have, I don't have good brakes. With these tires, it's it's impossible to brake. Oh my God! Don't get off the track. Oh, that was that was very close. No, no! Don't you dare to spit out. Oh my God. Okay, we just have one place to go. It's the final lap. I don't know if we can make it, but I'm I'm very glad to be in second place. I never expect that to happen. Ooh, I'm definitely going to save that replay. Oh my god. Come on, come on Aventador. Don't let me hang it in second place. Just one turn to go. Now that LaFerrari is so fast. No, we're not going to make it! Ah. Okay, we got in second place. We bat the uh, Venino, and that's really that. That's more than enough. I can live with that. <laughs> Honestly, I really can. So uh, that was a tough race, but it was fun. It really was. I mean, if you're bored in Gran Turismo, try that. Try to drift around your opponents and try to win. That's it's actually a cool experience. So. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if so please leave a like um, and subscribe of course if you're new you'd really help me, help me out with that. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.